Let's take a look at money in the real world. Now, since we all deal with money, a lot of these questions should be fairly logical. So do apply common sense. Don't assume they're difficult just because it's maths. Um, so in this question, what we need to do is work out how much Paula saves per month. So she earns this amount here. She pays out these uh, amounts of money on various expenses. And she also spends 700 pounds on food, clothes and socializing. So we can work out what she's got left over. So 1865, take away the mortgage, take away the car loan, take away the utility bills, take away the council tax and the phone and minus the 700 pounds for food, clothes and socializing means that Paula saves 219 pounds per month. Now, um, 200, we want to know how long it will, it will take her to save 800 pounds. Well, 800 divided by 219 uh, comes to a total of, it's 3.65. So it would take a 3.65 months, but that doesn't make sense because she's only paid once a month. Um, so we were here, we're gonna just round that up to four months. And we're rounding up, not because it's 0.6, even if it was 0.1, we'd round up because three months would be not enough um, whereas four months is enough. 219 pounds in one month. So in two months, it's gonna be 219 times two, which is 438. After three months, add on another 219, 657. So three months, she's still quite short, but after four months, once she's got another 219 under her belt, she's now up to 876, which is more than enough for the boiler. In fact, she's got 76 pounds that she can still play around with. Let's take a look at another example. This talks about a personal allowance. So a personal allowance of 12,500 means that if you earn less than 12,500 pounds, you don't pay any tax at all. And if you earn a salary over 12,500 pounds, then you're only taxed on what you earn up above this amount. And, and this is a real thing. And this amount, this amount is correct at the time of recording. So Ahmed, the first 12,500 he receives goes straight into his pocket. He's not taxed on that. He's only taxed on the difference between 42,000 and 12,500. So let's work out what that is. 42,000 minus 12,500 means he is taxed on 29,500 pounds and he's taxed at 20%. So therefore he will receive 80% of this amount. So what is 80% of 29,500, that's gonna be 29,500 times 0 0.080. That zero can be got rid of. It's not a problem if it is there though. So that means he will receive after tax 23,600, but he also receives the full 12,500 of, um, of his allowance. So after tax, he receives 23,600 plus the full 12,500, which means after tax, he receives 36,100 per year. So he, his salary is 42,000. He's taxed on everything above 12,500, meaning that after tax, he receives 36,100 per year. So his monthly salary after tax is his annual salary after tax divided by 12. And that comes to a total of 3,008 pounds and 33 P.